Yo. <clears throat> so today we're going to be taking a look at the North Throne with the Ajax comp. Um, so I just ac accidentally sent my first hit through on stage 10, uh, but we'll go over the run real quick and I won't fully send it through so we can knock out 11 and 12, or hopefully knock out 11 and 12. Um, so since getting Ajax, I finished Watchers, which was a breeze. And then yesterday as well, I finished Nightmare. Um, I will have both these videos coming up. I didn't shoot the video. I was just like too hard focused on completing them. And I figured uh, North Throne, I could kind of uh, shoot the video and uh, talk through what I'm doing. Um, but the Nightmare team is very cool that I used. Uh, so that one should be kind of exciting. It's way different than most of the other Nightmare comps I've seen. Uh, so for stage 10, let's just go through and auto it. Um, and then I'll quit right at the end. So this one's really hard if you don't have a good carry down here. Um, Valkyrie is literally the perfect unit down here. Um, Ardea probably works as well. I'm sure you could use a mage, but it would be a little bit harder. Um, so up top, I'm just trying to slow down these bubbles. Uh, so I can basically pop them before I put down my broke gear. So all basically dead. Broke gear comes down. Valk absolutely nukes. Should probably check. I don't know if I have a full set of gear on Maul right now either. I'm doing the same thing here, just trying to get that shield down. Uh, luckily, with this stage at the end, I had somebody die, but this one doesn't affect you too much. Once again, Valve just goes through and nukes. Um, I should have picked these up faster and then placed uh, another healer down here quicker, but I didn't. All right, so I pulled Mari. Um, I'm going to bring in a double healer to heal here. Uh, we handle those. And then these last units, I just end up taking out with uh, Shamir and Maul. So that's basically the 10 run. Um, pretty simple. Not too difficult. Uh... So from here, I'll go and I'll show you my builds real quick. Okay. So we'll go to stage 11. Um, Isold, just Guardian with the uh, Immortal Warrior. Nothing crazy there. Uh, she does have on Bastion Ring. I don't think that one really matters what you're putting on him. Uh, Vortex, another one in Guardian. This is just what I had him in in uh, Immortal Codex, so I just kept him in that. Um, Elysian Epitaph. Where's Artie? Oops. Brokeer, another one, just Guardian, uh, Mortal Warrior. Pretty much majority of my tank tanks. Uh, another Bastion Ring on him as well. Uh, Madon, she's in Guardian as well, with Life Force, um, and then she has Taya's Balm for her AoE healing. Uh, Sadie, uh, she is in full Invig. Um, bunch of Rage Regen. This is, a, once again, her Codex build. Uh... She does have her exclusive artifact, which is very, very good for her. If you haven't seen that uh, video I did on her and her artifact, you should definitely check it out. Um, probably one of the best uh, exclusives in the game, even with her being a healer. Maul, he's in Wisdom set with the Warlord. Um, crit capped. Pretty slower. Um, only 250 crit damage. Um, this is actually the mall build I run in my uh, GVG team as well. So, 
Yeah, just haven't really gave him the good gear yet. I didn't really feel like I needed to in this, but uh, we might end up switching him out later on for uh, like hats and gear or something. Just so he's a little bit stronger for this. Uh, Shamir, I did switch his gear. He got my Comet's gear. Um, crit capped. 325 crit damage. Uh, 16? Yeah, basically 16k attack. And then he's got the smaller tier of Twilight. Uh, Mari, my guild boss guild build. <laughs> she doesn't even have her fucking chest piece on. Uh, she's just built for full attack speed. I guess we could go throw one of these on. It might help somewhat, but not much. Give her a little more attack speed. Um, and then for hers, she has the Tome of Horror. I probably could put her in, uh, like, Tidal Ring or something in here. But not too worried about it yet. Um, Valk, she got my Silas gear. Uh, 350 attack speed. Almost 15k attack. 325 crit damage. Pretty solid build. Uh, she's got a Realm tier on. Um, and then the final one, Ajax. Uh, he's in full curse. Not even crit capped. He's close, though. A uh, little over 15k. Oh, 16k. And then he's got a big boy uh, tier of Twilight on. So with that being said, let's hop into uh, stage 11. Let's try to knock it out. All right. Um... So at the beginning, we're going to drop Valkyra right away. Uh, we'll get her ult going. Uh, just to clear this one really fast. And then we'll follow her up with Mari. Uh, waited a little too long there. And then after that, we will bring down Ajax. Um, kind of unfortunate we don't have any cost regeneration in this fight. It would be very, very helpful. Um, and then as soon as Mari has her ult up and they're in range, we'll be pulling. So good here. Put this down right, yep. Um Valkyra ult again. We're gonna bring in her just to heal, and then after he is full healed, uh, Murray is gone. Uh, one of these things too, if you do not have a A5 mall here, you might struggle a bit. Those uh, slows are very big on this guy. And there's the bubble pop. So we should be fine from here on in. Um, I'll pull Sadie just to make sure we're not dropping anywhere. Uh, Valkyra ult immediately. And as soon as uh, this wave is killed, we're going to be pulling Valkyra. Um, and then we will go with Vortex down here. And then after, we will put Valkyra up top behind uh, Isold. Here. Save that. Okay, we should be good here now. Get Valkyrie in. Let's slow it down just a bit. Okay, everything is popped. We should be good. Oh. 
Boom. That's 11. I, I still can't believe the amount of progress that uh, Ajax gave me in Faction Wars. It's actually crazy. That much value from one champ. Alright, from here, let's go uh, collect this bad boy. We'll have a little fun yeet real quick. So, my last one was Ajax, so not expecting much, but if we hit back to back, that'd be nice. Nope. And we got Epic. 85 E drill. Okay. It is time for the big boy stage. Hold on, let's go back. Uh, deploy three mages so we can die here. Um, I got Mari into Invig now. So Valkra can get a little bit more damage. Get her down immediately. Should be good here. Yep. Nope. Boom, boom. Old going. He's just going to do some crazy explosions now. And then... Hope Mari can actually heal him full up. God, I hate Mari so much. Okay. I do need to drop Sadie at some point. I guess now's a good time. Pretty sure she's in Invig. She is. So. We got the Invig buff going. I was scared I didn't pop that ult. And as soon as these are dead, we will pull Valkra. Um, keep her there, I guess. Let's just hope she doesn't get screwed up by the... Uh, Uh, 
hello, Ajax. There you go, buddy. And it's a clean run. Let's go. And that is Faction Trials with Ajax. We gotta love big guy. That's three Faction Trial 12s cleared in three days just because of Ajax. I didn't show damage. I'm sorry, guys. Um... Ajax definitely is top damage dealer there. Um, I would imagine uh, Shamir and Maul were pretty close behind. Oh no, Valkyrie is probably top just because the Knights at the bottom. They have a lot of damage. Um, but yeah, uh, I will get back to uh, the Nightmare and Watchers once those come back around. I'll probably redo my run in SO just because and throw Ajax in there as well. But yeah, that's the Faction Trials. 12 cleared for Northerners. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else. Um, I'm definitely going to do this whole series regardless with Ajax. Just because I do think people that have had them aren't really too big on them um, as far as in Faction Wars yet. So... Yeah, that'll do it for this one. Catch you guys later. Peace.